Now, let's talk about Super Smash Brothers, you guys. The premier West Coast gaming tournament, Genesis 5, has ended in fantastic fashion. This year in Oakland, California, roughly 2,000 players attended Genesis to witness and compete in the highest tier of competitive gameplay. Although Genesis has always been a host to a large variety of fighting games, the big events are all about Super Smash Bros. 64, Melee, and Wii U. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. It's true. Now, starting out with the original Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64, had a great turnout of top talent. We saw last year's champion Alvin from Peru face off. Peru? Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay, that's the country. That's how you pronounce like Peru. A, I don't know if it was like... Peru, oh, the well, gaming syndicate, in, in, franchise. Yeah. In esports, you can never know. Apologize yeah. there, guys. Anyway, Alvin, he's from Peru. He faced off against Panda Global's Super Boom fan from Canada. That's how you also say it, by the way. Yeah. And the rematch was, of course, brutal. Boom struck Alvin with a clean 3-0 sweep in the winner's final, but these two would meet again after Boom clutched a narrow victory versus Japan's Fukuro to earn his spot in the grand final. Alvin reset the bracket with a swift 3-0, but Boom... He did not surrender. He stuck to his guns as Captain Falcon against the Peruvian Pikachu and made a complete turnaround, taking the second set of the grand final three to one. Who had a second place curse since Genesis 3 in 2016, losing to Wario and Alvin. So this was a long overdue victory. Listen, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Not for this guy. No, not, not at this all. Time. Uh, I would hate to lose the Wario too, to be honest. Uh, but let's talk melee. Let's talk a little melee. Uh, Alliance's Armada from Sweden was poised to win his fourth Genesis in a row this year, but this time the Godslayers were in full form. Also belonging to Team Panda Global Plup, if I'm pronouncing that right, the 24-year-old Sheik and Fox player from Florida was able to take out Mango, Hungrybox, and Armada. Now, if you don't know who those players are, that's the third, second, and first ranked players in the world. In the world. Uh, and now, in his run to the winner's side of the grand final, he crushed all three of them. <laughs> Hungrybox repeated the pattern of 64, taking the first set of, of the grand final 3-0, followed by Plup clutching the victory in set two, game five. Not only is this the first time we haven't seen a Mango V Armada grand final, but this is also the first time someone outside of the five gods was able to take out the top three and win a major tournament of this size. I imagine that calling them gods probably, probably made it go to their heads. Well, I'm no, I'm no uh, analyst. I, I feel like you're onto something there. Yeah. <laughs> he no, says uh, with, the, with the glasses. No, I'm not really sure. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. Now, with the justice being served left and right, this Genesis had more viewers, upsets, and hype than ever before, and will truly be one to remember forever. For brackets, info, and VODs, check out smash.gg slash g5. To learn more about Smash Bros, head over to smash, supersmashbros.org. Dot org. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Interesting. Yeah. What kind of a 503 are you? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs>